Thanks for watching another quick tip video from Go Engineer. My name is Bruce Schaller, and this quick tip video is going to be on adding a part to the SolidWorks computed assembly bomb inside of PDM. What's nice about this is this can be done with any PDM standard or PDM professional contributor or editor license. And it really is out of the box functionality. So what I want to do is add a part. You know, I'm, I'm somebody that might not use SolidWorks. And as I'm looking at the SolidWorks bill of materials and looking at what the assembly has on it, I notice that the stickers that aren't modeled but are on the model need to be added to the bill of materials. So a real simple way to do that inside of PDM is to go do it as a virtual part in PDM. So let me show you the process and to do this. So first off, I have an assembly and it is already checked out by me and I'm the admin right now. So if I want to go in and create a virtual part, I can just right click, go to new and go to virtual document. Again, this is out of the box functionality. I didn't customize anything in order to do this. My file name on this, I'll call it 4240, and we'll call it the warning sticker. And now what you'll have to teach any user that has a contributor editor license and has the rights to do this is what file card you might want them to associate this with. To keep it simple, just go ahead and associate it with your SolidWorks part file card that all your SOLIDWORKS parts are being associated to. So if we go ahead and say OK there, it'll go ahead and create this warning sticker document. You might have to hit F5 or refresh your vault in order to see the file. And this sticker will have a data card that is the part card. Now, since I'm using a PDM professional vault, it went ahead and generated the next part number that was in my database and went ahead and automated that. With PDM standard, you wouldn't have that part of it, but you can associate it to a part card and go ahead and have that made. So from here, the next part of the process that you really have to teach an end user is that you really want to do a copy in a paste as a reference to the assembly that that belongs to. That's associating the, the sticker virtual part to the assembly. So now if I go in and look at like my bill of materials, it still won't have that part in there because I haven't checked it in yet. So I need to go ahead and check that in. So I'll go ahead and do this, both these files, as a check-in. And this will be first check-in with sticker. And when I first created that file, I could have gone in and change the quantity. I left the quantity to 1. So if I wanted to update the quantity in this, I need to check out this file. And if I know it, it goes along with the assembly, I could check out the assembly too. But I'm really updating the quantity in the sticker. If I want the quantity in the assembly to update, I, I need to really check out that file and update it as well. But let's just do the sticker and see what happens. So I'm going to go in and look at what the assembly contains right now, right? Just to make sure that it has one sticker, quantity one in there. And if I have the sticker checked out, I should be able to go change the quantity. But I can't because I don't have the upper level assembly checked out. So that's really what you have to teach any user is that you're going to really be checking out the upper level assembly 
and you're going to check out the associated sticker file with it. That's all that needs to be checked out. I already have the sticker file checked out, so I'll just check out the assembly now. And now when I go back in to the assembly and look at the part that I made as virtual, I can go ahead and click the Options Edit button over here under the Contains tab. Again, let me just go back to that because what I'm doing is I'm on the assembly, I'm on the Contains tab where I should be, and I'm going in and hitting the Custom References button. And this is where I can go in and change the quantity to whatever quantity I would like. Maybe I only want two stickers in this. And then from here, you don't need to save this as a named bill of materials. All you really need to do is go in and check back in the files. Just like any standard process, and this could be added a sticker. From my comment. And now if we look, and we go back up here to the assembly, and we look, I've got the warning sticker. I've got quantity two in here now. And there, if I go back up to my bill of materials and look in the bill of materials for that, you're going to see, because it was pasted as a reference, that you have the quantity two and the warning sticker. So really easy way to use virtual parts, or virtual parts inside of PDM, I should say, and uh, either PDM Standard or PDM Professional. Thanks for watching another quick tip video from Go Engineer.